the next person, Anne Michaela Gaston, who I had the opportunity to meet a few years ago, and she completely blew me away with her story and her music and what she's doing in the world. She creates environments to help people explore themselves, confront their fears. Her vision is to give everyone an equal, vo equal voice. She founded the International Cultural Arts and Healing Sciences Institute, and she's been the winner of eight Washington Area Music Association Awards for Best Jazz, World, and Urban Contemporary Vocals. She has a unique view on self-expression and well-being. I'm Michaela Gaston. Despite the fear and anxiety which seem to be running through the world at the moment in light of COVID-19, just as the earth is regenerating, we could be generating. This moment in time can be galvanizing, reminding us to be appreciative for even the littlest things and inspiring us to affirm our commitment to caring for ourselves and connecting to others, even if it can only be done by Zoom right now. And even though we know on some level that now might be a good time for us to find the courage to not be fear-driven and expand our minds to find new possibilities and even possibly harness expectations for the future, the question remains, how? How do we do that? How do we feel in charge of our lives again? In what capacity can we participate in this global transformation and reinvent and reclaim our new selves? Is it possible to make this time serve as an opportunity to unleash our own personal growth? Hi, my name is Amakayla Gaston, and I'm an international performer, speaker, and performance coach and the founder of ICASI, the International Cultural Arts and Healing Sciences Institute. And I'm so honored to be here sharing this moment with you. For it's moments like this one, especially in times like these, when we need to remember that we are all together, all connected and all experiencing so many things in this extraordinary moment. When we need to muster all our strength, corral all our community and call on all relations and our ancestors. With the medicine from the plant spirits, animal spirits, and all the elemental spirits, Orishas, Devas, all of these celestial beings that surround us, they must all come forth and stand in witness and in action to our powerful present, our now. Because my darling and empowered family, we not only can make a difference, we must. We must conjure our innate drive that defies logic and calls us to go beyond. Beyond the judgments and assumptions that keep us afraid and isolated because of the color of our skin, our varying genders, our different belief systems, and come together as one in the beauty of our communal molecular connections and continue to dare to hope, dare to be dauntless, dare to be fearless, brave, courageous, and bold, even when we are tired, weary, and feeling lost and alone. We must restore that connection, that balance, and the way to do that is to remember that we are all one. We are all our relations. You're a relative to me and me to you and all of us to each other. So when I get down and frustrated and literally petrified by these challenging times, I have to remind myself that we're all a part of each other. And to love myself fully, I need to love all of us. When I'm afraid, when I'm feeling alone, I sing this old spiritual that my grandmother used to sing to me while she rocked me. She would... She would sing by and by when the morning comes. My sweet mama will carry me home. She will tell me the story of how we overcome. 
and we'll understand it better by and by. And it would soothe me so, such hope in despair. And I could even now just hear the tune and be soothed. For music is such a powerful remedy and a natural healer. You know, studies conducted at Harvard Medical School have shown that music can enhance the function of neural networks, slow the heart rate, lower blood pressure, reduce levels of stress hormones and inflammatory cytokines, and provide relief to patients undergoing surgery, as well as help and heal heart attack and stroke victims. Music improves memory in Alzheimer's patients and increases mathematical capabilities in students. Just listening to music while sitting still and focusing on a beautiful, positive thought and breathing deeply while we do that is one of the many simple ways that we can get ease from these stressful pressures every day. And if we add in a few more easy self-care tips and tools, we might actually feel refreshed and rejuvenated like a whole person again. And honestly, I know all of this to be true, like really true, not just numbers as part of a science experiment. I know that it works because I had to do it to save my life. I was murdered. Yeah, I was run over by a truck in a hate crime by five white men who ran me over and after I died and came back, my whole body was broken. My ribs were crushed into my lungs, my leg bones were pulverized and splintered through my skin and I couldn't breathe and I had third degree burns over 70% of my body. And while all of that was going on, through the thrum of the oxygen machines and the incessant beeping of the heart monitors and the murmuring of the doctors as they told my parents of their plan to amputate my legs in the morning to prevent gangrene. A deep quiet rose up in me and connected me to my true heart voice, allowing me to focus and breathe deeply and listen carefully not just to that voice, that small, still voice within me, but also to the music that helped calm me, the pulses and the tones. And I started to cellularly heal myself from the inside out. Now, admittedly, through the whole thing, I was thinking, am I going to focus on the pain of the third degree burns on my skin or am I going to focus on getting through this? Am I going to focus on the fact that they were going to amputate my legs shortly or stick with my determination and focus on the quiet? You may be facing a similar choice in your life and in your thoughts. So what's something positive and resourceful and helpful that you can focus on? And while you're focusing on the positive, put on some music to calm you physiologically and allow you to enter into a positive state to make the right choice for you. Music allowed me to enter into a self-hypnotic state of mind and I started inhaling and exhaling slowly and deeply. Start by inhaling and exhaling slowly and deeply. Do it with me now. Can you feel it? Allow your breath to become still and relaxed. Settle into this moment. Feel your body, the support of the floor, the chair. Become aware that you're breathing. Become aware of the movement of breath. Feel your breath coming in and flowing out. Flowing in and flowing out. Not controlling it, just aware of how your breath moves and feels. Deep breathing helps to increase oxygen flow throughout the body. 
And we now know that this is one of the easiest and most beneficial ways to de-stress. We also now know that subsequently, when you hum or sing or even sigh, you naturally activate your vagus nerve, which links to your respiration and slows down your exhalation. And that has a positive effect for calming us down. It's the natural way we all kind of self-soothe. Babies do it all the time when they coo or gurgle. So if you hum a song, and especially one that you associate with being calm or being happy or courageous, it can actually activate those feelings in your body. So let's just have some fun. Let's see what happens. I'm going to hum a little tune and then you can respond if you want to. Okay. That was great. Oh, that was beautiful. You know, when we take command of our destiny, when we shift our mindset to the positive, our stress hormones start to go down because otherwise they shut down our immune system. So when we get stuck in this fear-based loop, our energy, our thought, our consciousness creates that negative experience in our body. But it doesn't have to be like that. When we decide to set aside some time each day for ourselves and sit comfortably in one spot, breathe deeply, and listen to music, we can experience a deep peace. To successfully get through these extraordinary times, we need to do everything in our power to boost our health, augment our vitality, and elevate our consciousness by deciding to choose empowering thoughts, by remembering to listen and act from a place of centered, calm compassion. You can call on your resilience, your power, and your inherent greatness. For we have the power within to heal, choose the way that we want to live, perform, and transform. She will tell us the story, how we overcome, and we'll understand it better. By and by. I'm so glad that I got to spend this time with you. And if you'd like to chat sometime or learn more about me, you can go to www.voiceyourvision.net for the chance to join me on May 28th for a three hour live class. I believe in you and I love you. Blessings to you all.